Natural disasters can strike anywhere at any time, most often causing severe damages to work sites, homes, and businesses. These damages can pose severe safety risks to workers in the construction and contracting industry that are tasked with emergency infrastructure support, debris cleanup, and rebuilding. From hurricanes to wildfires and earthquakes, every natural disaster is different in its warning time frames and associated impacts. In responding to and recovering from these events, workers can be faced with a multitude of unique hazards in working in a post-disaster environment. Common hazard situations include working in and around contaminated floodwaters, downed trees, exposed electrical wires, structurally compromised structures, wildlife interactions, and household hazardous materials like asbestos or lead. With disasters possible at any time, it's important to understand these common hazards associated with responding to them so that risks can be safely mitigated should the worst case scenario happen. When responding in a disaster area, ensure that all workers have proper PPE and are trained in the use of that PPE for the conditions that are being worked in. At a minimum, for most cleanup scenarios, OSHA recommends watertight and puncture-proof boots with a steel toe and insole, gloves, long pants, and safety glasses during cleanup operations, and wearing a hard hat if there is any danger of falling debris. Fall protection equipment is required for working at any heights over six feet. In many cases, N95 filtering face piece respirators may be adequate for dust or other particulates. Where mold is known to be or potentially may be present, use an approved respirator. See the OSHA fact sheet on mold hazards during a disaster cleanup for further guidance. Where asbestos is known to be or potentially may be present, higher levels of protection are required. Where chemical contaminants are present, make sure to wear the appropriate cartridges or filters that are required depending on the chemical. Active cleanup and remediation sites post-disaster are rife with safety concerns. After a major flood, it's often difficult to maintain good hygiene during cleanup operations. To avoid waterborne disease, it's important to avoid active flooding or wading into standing flood waters, as these waters can be contaminated with biological or chemical agents or that can cause irritation, injury, or even death. It's essential to wash your hands with soap and clean running water, especially before work breaks, meal breaks, and at the end of the work shift. Mosquitoes and other insects can multiply following flooding events, causing bites and spreading illness. Decrease this risk of mosquito and other insect bites by wearing long sleeve shirts, long pants, and by using insect repellents. Do not work in or around any flood damaged building until it has been examined and certified as safe for work by a registered professional engineer or architect. In wind damaged areas, a hazard assessment of the work area must be performed before starting any work. Be aware that trees can be lodged, bound, or roll in certain ways that can increase risks to workers when being cut. Ensure that all ladders and scaffolds are properly secured prior to use and are clear of any overhead hazards. Operators of chainsaws and other equipment should be trained and the equipment properly maintained. And always use proper PPE such as gloves, safety glasses, hard hats, hearing protection, and chainsaw chaps as recommended in the equipment manufacturer's operating manual. Downed power lines are a particularly common hazard from wind damage and are extremely dangerous. First, report any obvious hazards to appropriate authorities. Keep a safe distance from the downed or damaged power lines, and repairs must be performed by trained electrical utility workers. Also ensure all electricity and water service to the worksite is turned off prior to beginning any work. And have a qualified electrician inspect electrical equipment that has gotten wet before you energize it. Natural disasters and their subsequent cleanup pose serious threats to workers, but following the proper safety precautions can alleviate many potential problems and save lives. So be prepared and ready when disaster strikes.